Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on CNC thread cutting demo that is video tutorial using EdgeCam. This is in fact problem 3 demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCam for generation of GNDM codes for a turning profile involving curves, grooves and threads. And I'll show you the problem. The problem is this. The problem is this. It is more or less similar to the previous one. Previously you had a, a taper turning here. Nowadays a curve you have. You have a, a curve here that is an arc of radius 40 and also you have a thread here on a diameter 52. The recommended pitch is 5 mm and depth of thread is 3.06 mm. Okay. And you have to generate toolpath, verify toolpath, generate GNDM codes and, uh, and you should get 2D and 3D dynamic simulation and all that. And as we had done in the previous problem, you should have rough turning as well as finished turning. And alliances on X and Z after rough turning should be 0.5 mm. Okay. That means alliances on X, that is diameter is 0.5 and alliance on Z, that is on uh, axis, that should be 0.5. And uh, speed at rough turning should be 1200 and during finish should be 2000 RPM. Okay. These are all the things what you should consider. And uh, these are all the uh, points what I taken last time. Same points I have taken. But only thing is here you change it as a curve instead of straight line. First we will make it a straight line. And I will show you how to make it a curve and all that. Same coordinates we will have. Using the same coordinates we will do the edge cam. That is uh, the day and the, during the design phase. Okay. Now we will go to the uh, edge cam to generate GNDM code, codes for this uh, profile. Okay. See here. Now I will go to the edge cam. File new you do. And you go for options. And ZX environment you take. And then you go for polyline. And coordinate input you take. Then the first one is the origin. No? 0, 0 you put. You just say continue. Then the next is X is 52. 52. Z is 0 you don't have to give. Continue you say. X is 52. Now, if X is same, Z you have to change. Then Z is minus 30. Minus 30, you take. Continue. It is all absolute because I have taken from the common origin. The all points have been calculated with common origin. That is why X, Z minus 30, you take. You just say continue. Then, you that, that is uh, groove cutting will take. Uh, that is a uh, groove you have to make. That is 42. X is 42, X is 42, Z is same. That's why don't change the Z. That way, that means group, this has come. Now, this, that means Z will change. Z will be minus 45. Minus 45 will be the Z. Okay, let's say this. Okay, then Z will be minus 45, same thing. But X will be 52. You make x52 now. x52, you just say continue. Then x is same. z will change. Now z is minus 70, he says. Minus 70. Minus 70 you do. Just say continue. Once you do this, minus 70, then you have a taper turning. Now the taper turning, uh, to make it as a curve and all that, I'll show you. In this, uh, for taper turning and all that, as you know, both uh, X and Z will change. X is 100 and Z is minus 90. Okay, 100 and minus 90. That means taper turning you got. Then X will be remaining same and Z will change. Z is minus 120. Minus 120. This is the thing what you got. Okay, now what you do, do is you have a R command here and you have an arc of radius 40. Okay, this line has to be changed. I have to make an arc here. That's why I have a procedure. You can do by different, different procedures. But my procedure I will do this way. Radius and two points. Two points and radius again 40. I will just say well, okay. I will just click on this point. I will click on this point. Then I'll just say, it's here, I got the radius. Sir. Okay, once you get that, okay, you got the radius, you can delete. You have a delete command here. Okay, 
you just delete this. Okay, right button. In that way, you see here, this RQ got beautifully, and this procedure you adopt. Okay, now you have learned how to draw an R and how to delete. Uh, if you have drawn a line or something like that, if you are not, uh, if it is not acceptable, you can delete. This is the way it is done. After that, it is the same thing. Now you that the, the variation is this. Uh, this has become a curve of radius 40, and you have to create thread and all that. This way, anyway we do. Now you see here. Then geometry, stock fixture, uh, automatic stock cylinder compulsorily geometry start extension radius extension end extension. You can take anything. You can. I'm telling you, you can change always. Okay, if you change, uh, the usual thing is. See here, now start extension, radius extension, end extension, I give 5, 5, 5. I'll just say okay. If I do this, this will be 5, this will be 5, this will be 5, similarly this will be 5. Now this is 100 means, 105, 110 will be the raw material diameter. Raw material diameter will be 110 and the length will be 120 already, plus 5, plus 5, 140. That means the length of the workpiece is 140, okay, that is 120, 120, 130, 130, because 120, 5 plus 5, 130, and the diameter is 100, that is 5 here, 5 here means, it is 10 here, in that way, it will be 110, 110 will be the diameter, okay, that is 110 will be the diameter, and the length of the workpiece, is minus 120 plus 5 plus 5, 130. That means the raw material should be given so much and you have to get this profile. This is the thing. Now, once you have done this, you change it to manufacturing environment. Okay. Uh, and then compulsorily take funnel 2 x cp under machine tool. Just say okay. Okay. Once you do this, okay, we will do carefully tooling, turn, Okay, fine. Fine, you take any uh, uh, rough turning tool. You just select this. Just say okay. Okay, I have taken a turning tool. First, we will do the facing for this. Uh, facing for this. In that way, turn cycles, I will go. Rough turn, I will take. Rough turn, I have given 1200 should be the speed. You return the thing, cut increment, you compulsorily give 1, so that every cut, diametrically it reduces by 2 mm. And X offset and Z offset, they are given in the problem 0.5, you enter 0 0.5, 0 0.5, can cycle, safe approach, let it be there, and cut direction, compulsorily take face. Okay, compulsorily take face, all okay, then you just say okay, then you click on only this, okay. Then as I have been telling you, right button, right button and you just take above this workpiece. This workpiece is actually as you know it is 100 plus 5 plus 5 110 just a little above. Okay now the tool path has been generated so many times it will go whatever it, it goes from here to here goes, goes from here to here here to here here to here all this will be generated in GNM code that is the tool path. Tool path is generated and as per the X and Y, X and Z dimensions given in the G and M course, the tool moves. Okay, now you are, you are given this, it will move from here to here, here to here, here to here, in that way it cuts. Okay, whatever is that, I have given a tolerance of 0.5, but it won't get, cut the entire thing, it will leave a tolerance of, that means uh, alliance of 0.5 on Z here. Okay, now this is that thing done. Then again, tooling, turn you go, find, and the rough turn you take, Okay, select, just say okay. Okay, now it uh, turn cycles you go, rough turn you take. Okay, let us say 1200. X offset, Z offset, it's all same. Cut increment, you take one only. Okay, and compulsorily cut direction turn you take because we are operating on OD now. Okay, now you see here, I'll operate on OD here. I'll operate on OD here. Okay. I'll operate on OD and just say right button, right button. You give this. Okay. 
Now it has come clearly. Okay. Now you see here, this has been done. Now what uh, I'm what I'm su suggesting is so now you have to go for finish turning. Okay, finish turning and all that will be there. That is why what I'll do is I'll go for options, design mode. I'll go. I'm just uh, I'm telling you how exactly to manage some of the things are. Okay, now under design mode, uh, polyline, I'll just connect this end and this end. Okay, I'll just connect this. Okay, and options, I'll come back to manufacturing mode. Okay, now I'll come back to the manufacturing mode. You see here, why I've done this, I'll tell you. Now, tooling, turn, tooling, turn, find. When finish turning tool you take, select, just say okay. Once you do this, okay, turn cycle, finish turn you do. Now see here, finish turn, 2000 RPM you take, because they have given the problem. Then offset and X offset is there. That means, in the finish turn, it removes only the offset. Offset what has been created on the diameter and on Z. Only that it will remove. Just say okay. Okay, you have got the tool now. Now you see here, carefully you do, you take this, take this, take this also, otherwise uh, your finish would be, would not have got properly. That is why I joined this, that is why remember this, okay, you join this, you, you click on this, click on this, click on this, okay, now finish turning should be on this. Now as you know, this diameter is how much actually, it is 52, after rough turning it will be 53. Now, after finish turning, it will be 52. Okay. In that way. Now, right button. Right button. Right button. In that way, finish turning is also over. Now, you see carefully. That means, you have done more or less most of the things except uh, this groove cutting and thread cutting. Okay. Now, we will go for tooling. Groove you go. Find you go. Okay. Groove, let us say you take this. Okay, select and width you make it 3. Just say okay. Grooving tool you have taken. Okay, grooving tool you have taken. Then turn cycles. Rough groove you take. Rough groove you take. Okay, rough groove. 0.5 offset, 0.5 offset. Cut increment 1. You leave everything same. Don't change anything. Just say okay. Now, You click on the groove because these things have been cut already. No, you have enough space here. You just say right button, right button, right button. You do. See here. Now it has been done. Rough grooving has been done. Okay. Now here it, do, it does the rough grooving. Again, tooling you go. Groove you go. Find you go. Okay. Again, you make it 3 mm. Select the tool. Okay. Okay. Now, turn cycles you go. Then, finish grow you go. And finish grow. If, if, let us say, if, if it is finish grow, if it is 1000 mm, you take, the, the, take 1000 mm only. Okay. If it is 2000, you take 2000. Okay. Finish growing. If it is 2000 RPM, you take that. Okay, all you remain, notice see here, Z offset and X offset, it has become zero now. Now it say, okay, now carefully is do this, this, and this you click, and click right button, right button, right button. In that way, that finish grooving is also done. Okay, now we are left with only the thread cutting portion. Okay, the thread cutting portion which has to be done here, this has to be done, and after that, you have to do the 2D simulation, and the 3D simulation and all that. Okay. Now, we have come to the end of session 1. In session 2, we I will show you how exactly to do the groove cutting, sorry, uh, thread cutting here and 2D simulation, 3D simulation and generation of M codes. Everything will be done in second session 2. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks friends. Thank you.